Well, she was a driving force for change in Chicago. In 1974, Mary Wallace became the first female driver for the CTA. As we celebrate Black History Month, CBS 2's Vince Girasoli sat down with a pioneer of Chicago's roadways. When people heard that it was going to be a lady driver and her route was going to be State Street, it was like a parade. Mary Wallace remembers the attention surrounding the novelty of her first day on the job. Every day was an adventure. In 1974, she was the CTA's first female bus driver. Of course, you know, there were always these guys saying, why don't you stay home and raise your babies? This is a man's job, blah, blah, blah. Back when the buses were green and fashion was mod, Wallace was turned down time and time again until a move to hire more women had the CTA routing directly to her resume. I didn't even wait. I ran out, I bought me some shoes, I started working on my uniform. She would spend 33 years with the agency, half of them behind the wheel until being promoted to supervisor. I could never drive a bus. Sure you could. No, 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 It's no, like no. driving a car. Wallace recalls mostly good times and the words of one challenging passenger. I have a gun and I want this bus. She may have been the first behind the wheel, but Mary says, along with the other women drivers who followed, they all headed into new territory. A lot of them were like single mothers, you know, and they didn't have jobs and all of a sudden there was a job out there for them. Yes, we can. And yes, we did. Mary spent the first nine months of her career on the Michigan Avenue route. She then was assigned mostly to the north side. She recalls forming bonds with her riders, regulars who on holidays would often bring treats and gifts. She now lives in Hoffman Estates and travels the world. Wow, that's pretty incredible, especially listening to her stories. And it seems she was pretty brave along the way too, really standing up for herself. I mean, what it drives home when you talk to her is how different it was to have to break a barrier, to be the first woman to do something and the job that it opened for so many people who didn't have so many avenues and it gave them something that could take care of their families. Mm -hmm. This is 1974, so the times were much different. It was probably a lot harder to stand up for yourself. Though. Yeah, but amazing that you can still talk to someone who remembers those days and had to break the barriers. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Vince.